Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Well, um, you know, it's anime, mystery, my, one of my friends recommended it, and you know, without further ado, let's go. Of course, we'll be playing in English, okay? English all the way. Fuck Japanese. <laughs> Not that I mind Japanese, but you know, English. Uh, we'll go on kind. Because English voice acting is just more funny. Okay, the game was a lot louder than I expected. Jesus Christ. I actually had to turn it down on my OBS. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. The massive high school tower is all over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. Once you have... One, you have to already be attending the high school. Two, you have to be very you have to be the very best at what you do. Okay. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the inside, or average on the... Okay, yeah, whatever. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Wow. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever is most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm your everyday hero. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peaks Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I feel this way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. The 
Host Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic that there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about the ultimate students, and they were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school, high school girl who also led, who also, who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, and the ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in any way in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You had to take a you had to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to our school. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I couldn't just stand there in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock tower in the corner. It says 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50, minute, full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school, maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so that shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step, step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step starting towards a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh shit. What the fuck's going on? Nani? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like I was it, it was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. 
Spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again. And in the next moments, everything went black. That that was how it all began. How life I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Prologue. Welcome to despair. Ooh. Save. Nah. What? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay. 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 It was just after 7 I first got here. Was it, Has it really been an hour since I've been? Okay. Is that a surveillance camera? It's... It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos from wandering in. That's a desk. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool where, I where I must have left there. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's on the desk? An orientation guide is some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's some something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to begin. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell is is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay. Okay. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Tick. Two. Very solid. Wait, that's not... That, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates all over the windows? Okay, let's see. What might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then, if that's true, then that raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like some kind of prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably get, head back to the main hall. It's past the meeting time, there might be other students there now. Yes. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, well for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Okay, left stick. B to run. Press the Y button to bring up the map. Y again to close the map. Oh, okay. I'm assuming the main hall is over here. Never mind. Can I do something? Oh, here. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. 
Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that have been hand-picked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking into their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nayagi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep, in, keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was, a, was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is un unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be delayed. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh. The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get the introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I still think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance to get as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... I still actually- I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Alright. I'll start by talking to those five over there. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I don't like this guy. <laughs> He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate morale compass. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You're, you said your name was Makoto Nayagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? Okay, and to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying! <laughs> Already. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate Writing Prodigy Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career Then two years ago she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece The book was such a hint with such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest man pole Wow Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books were instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figure she, she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? Well, what? It's not, it's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... <clears throat> I, I know what you, what you just thought. You thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Oh, feels bad, man. 
Talking about an inferiority complex, I was way off about a successful answer would be like. Wait, can I? Yo, I love English voice acting. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country, in fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she was going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. Jesus. I like her. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Hey, by any chance, now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable, well, valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chats. Um. You're, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka had something she wanted to say. Feels bad, man. We'll never see each other again. It's not like we'll never see each other again, like she said. We can talk about it later. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's okay, up? Okay, I don't like this guy. <laughs> Ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Clamps as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You seriously? Hey, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you being the baseball Give star and all... Were you some kind of kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting you a more, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article, article and found and a picture of you online, that's how you often looked back then. <laughs> oh man, you saw, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed my right now. I didn't have a choice. Okay, shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna die back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? you no. Know. I don't really like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still with his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit, bis I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You wow. Know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? This new picture of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I sound like a baseball player. Jesus. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. <laughs> this is you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the way, how do you know... How much do you know about the 2D arts? The world of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I'm well-known and supremely regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival that the event passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? 
That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly un unappreciated in my time. Wow. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Now to talk to those five people over there. Oh yeah. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Wow. Language. Which means the Oh, the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even all from every gang in the country. Wow. Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I'd be better to be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her tons on magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Come on, bro. <laughs> photoshopped? You know, edited to hell, like, and to hell I'm back. Computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Wow. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. That's very true. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it's all ceramic and porcelain. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Kyoko Kirigiri. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. I like her already. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hove's Peak Academy tread. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, I can do this. Or not. Could this girl be one of them? And so, what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? What kind of ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Well, okay, Dan. God. I guess he didn't have Ugh. to tell me. I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Well. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. The ultimate programmer. Mm. Sorry, I kind of get embarrassed whenever I introduce myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Right, same here. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for yeah. that. Oh yeah. She's known for the cutting-edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, <laughs> which endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I just 
I was just lost in thoughts about something. Huh? Lost in thoughts? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I thought you might. I thought I was afraid you didn't like me. <laughs> hee hee, I'm glad. <laughs> oh god. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Come on, Makoto. Hey I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Aoi? Ultimate swimming pro. Aoi Asahina, she's been breaking every record in every school competition she's been in since elementary school. She's been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and her proportions have been widely discussed online. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Nayagi. <laughs> Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, no, not something like that. It is you got that. It. Sure, sure, got it. I'll hammer into my brain now. Yeah. Makoto and I... Okay, okay. She kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that b before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, do you, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like how it sounds. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, I have no idea, haha. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Those four over there are the only ones left. I am Sakura Ogami. <laughs> <laughs> Again, some Kenshiro vibes, dude. I almost asked, asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she competed in martial arts tournaments in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. The thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the, pr to the primates than frame the famed missing link. Any incoming hopes, peak students who are reading this, let me know. Let me warn you right now. If you avoid your, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Wow. Standing in front of her, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey you. Uh, y yes. I snapped to attention without even realizing. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Hey, uh, what I are you? See. Muscular. Quality and quantity is right around as that an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not all fit as Actimized training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's the most half-assed introductions I've ever heard. There, but there really isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerates. He already started managing business operations and is own personal assets as well are well vast his title of ultimate affluent progeny progeny is completely accurate he's the definition of exceptional wow that's everything i learned about him from hope's peak academy tread online come on we're done with introductions right how much longer are we gonna stand there go away i'm sick of looking at you come on dude his aura says to me like you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Known as Supernova in the psychic community, the tread setting ultimate clairvoyance. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff, it's pretty much beyond me. 
Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay, I give up. For serious? Uh, I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running. Okay. And that guardian angel is your guardian <laughs> angel. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, hey, how about we grab? S should we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lum Lemuria and its civilization. What the fuck? You know? I'm actually 21. I've held back a few times. And see, well, it's a long story. Oh. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, I like her already. Dude, I like the way she looks. Holy shit. That's my favorite type of look. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. But you're Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather have you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic lolita clothes... Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They, sh they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Wow. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. Hee hee hee. That smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Dude, she is my favorite character already, dude. But I also like Aoi. Or, uh, Hina? Hina. And with that, all the introductions are done. Even though they're all ultimates, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that all about? Um. Listen. Well, you see. Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. What? Ha that's how it happened to you too, right? Well, that's just weird. None of... That's... That every one of us would have get would have fuck I can't read would have got knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. <clears throat> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classroom and halls were, right? But instead, normal glass windows. It was a bunch of metal plates. What was that all about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got what here. The heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something? Is it like... What, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off like we're not actually at school? And we're not actually at school? Hey, come on! Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm gonna take it easy for a little I bit. See. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Well, if that's all it is. It's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little should I. I feel everyone's tension evaporating. I'm already afraid, kind of.
Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Uh, right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. What the hell is that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, you're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just getting, just to get us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? I guess I'll head out too. No one. I wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that map too. Why do you have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that then. I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, and I was frozen where I stood. The uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. But maybe, but just saying, staying put here doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little cu curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we don't move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to move ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Oh boy, and that's it. Do you want to save? Prologue, school life checkpoint. Alright. How do we get out? Oh, right. Leave the area? Yes. Hey, come on! God, I had no idea the Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone? And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through that the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't this like seriously not good? Uh. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell, if it, it... It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. hey where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I too shall go. What the fuck? That sound was hilarious. Um. Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. Getting a bad vibe. Me too. Yo! See, told you, it's a totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hello! 
Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Okay. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Oh, God. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety... What?! And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into fear! Say what?! The teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down, I'm sure there's a speaker inside of it. Hey! Come on now! I told you I'm not a teddy bear. Headmaster. I'm Monokuma and your headmaster. Say what?! Whoa, it moved. Duh, shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. <laughs> How dare you compare me to a child's playtime? You've cut me deep, deeper than Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Bear it! But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just can't bear it. Well. Bear, wow, you you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Oh, okay. Huh. He abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand attention and bow, and good morning. You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, we have to talk about your school life. What your school life here will be like. Ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end date for this communal knife life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> what did you just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundance budget, so you don't so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Well, that's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you, and I am no liar of that. You can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these, these walls ever again. Cut off? So those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here? Ew. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you yell or scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless un abandon. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if it's the school or whatever else is behind it all, but this is a really bad joke. D damn you. Yeah, cut it out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbeatable. You keep saying it's a lie, lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? Well, I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in this, an age where you're taught to, to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the un undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? 
come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now the entrance ceremony is... Before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you decide you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know. I guess I did forget to mention there is one way for you to leave the school. R really? Actually, as headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for all for those who would like to leave. I call it the graduation yeah, clause. Yeah. Now tell me. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone here were to disrupt that harmony, and they alone would be allowed to just, to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. Okay. Again, kind of. Okay. What? what do you mean by disrupt ceremony? <laughs> Poo hoo hoo. Well, you know. If one person were to murder another. Dun dun. M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, however you do it, doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Damn. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A shot, a chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> Poo hoo hoo, I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, right? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here if you need it. What are you saying? We know what that means. That's not my problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yippee! And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. <sighs> All right, come on. How are you gonna keep? How long are you gonna keep this up? Hmm? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Cause I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick, all right? So, uh, like, Duh, shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? What, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Uh <laughs> Mondo roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was like the sound of floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself in the air. Who flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What, no smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out! Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her, her ferocity sounded in silence with the word he just did as he told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. Uh. The hell? What the? That sure shit isn't a joke, it blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, oh! I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, that means the teddy bear had been destroyed, right? Hey! 
I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. Ooh, uh, there's another one? You Damn son you. of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yes, I was serious trying about trying to kill you. You, you did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I will let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with a single... With just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. So does this mean there's like a bunch more around of you around here somewhere? Yep. Munakuma's have in place all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> Poo hoo hoo, and I won't be so forgiving about my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the E Handbook. Hmm. Um, yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's a completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And text to its space age design, it can withstand any, an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys... You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of the school rules will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules restricts, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishments in place for violators. Well then, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. <laughs> so guys, how did you define what we just experienced? What the crap? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? Why? We have to live here forever? Or kick kill? <laughs> well, well, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, we take a second to summarize everything we heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is what we <laughs> each is that we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, Indeed. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were adopted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. Now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... <laughs> Just what is this? Ridiculous. A lie. A lie is what it is. Stop this ridiculous thing. We've all heard it has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... Is anyone here seriously considering all of this? Nobody had a response. Keeping myself quiet, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge out each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma laid out. You can kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us has become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that's how my new school life began. This school, which I come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Dun dun. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end.
That skipped out. You received a school crest present. Do you want to save? Yes, please. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel the paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, passing through like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1, To Survive Okay, that sounds like a good place to stop, and then, yeah, the first video will be a prologue, and then the next video will be part one of chapter one, I guess. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.